So this question says, of the following four types of savings account plans, which option would yield exponential growth of the money in the account? So obviously we need to go to the answer choices and use process of elimination, right? So what are we looking for? We're looking for exponential growth. So answer choice A, each successive year, 2% of the initial savings is added to the value of the account. So I would say no to that because of the fact that it's just adding 2% of the initial savings, right? So that means you're fixed. That's fixed growth, right? If you were to put in $100, 2% is $2, right? So if your initial amount was $100, then you'd be making $2 added to the account each year. That's definitely not exponential growth. Choice B, each successive year, 1.5% of the initial savings and $100 is added to the initial, I'm sorry, is added to the value of the account. So same or similar type of situation. Instead of $2, though, you're going to get $1.50, right, if you had initially opened the account with $100. But then on top of that, you're going to get an additional $100. So you're going to have $101.50 added to the account each year definitely better than two dollars but also definitely not exponential growth that's linear growth it's the same exact amount of growth per year so choice b is out choice c each successive year one percent of the current value is added to the value of the account so now we're dealing with something that's no longer fixed because it's the current value right so if you started off with one hundred dollars the next year, if you added 1%, would be $101. But the next year, right, so that means you added a <clears> dollar. <throat> but the next year, if you added 1%, would be one, you'd be at $101.10, right? So now you've added a dollar ten, right? And each successive year, right, this value that's adding would also increase. And though, although, you know, it looks to be starting off small, right? Ten cent difference is not a big difference. One dollar, ten cent is not big, um, a big difference over one dollar. You can probably imagine how year after year, this value gets larger and larger to the point where it is significant. And again, right, I'm saying one hundred dollar starting point. Your, your starting point could have been a lot larger than that, in which case even this initial change could be more significant so at any rate c is definitely better than choices a and b but let's try out choice d so choice d says each successive year 100 dollars is added to the value of the account so again that's better than the initial value of the account in a way um, but in other ways it's not right so i'm only adding a fixed amount so once again choice d is also fixed growth because I'm only going to add $100, right? So even if you open the account with a million dollars, I'm basically telling you each year, I'm just going to add $100. No matter how much money you put in, I'm going to add $100. That is not a formula for exponential growth. Whereas as little as this 1% may sound, right? Again, if I were to start the account with $1 million, that would be $10,000 for the first year in terms of growth. And each year from that, that 10000 would increase, increase, increase. So if we were to look at the amount of growth 20 years down the line, 30 years down the line, 40 years down the line, we see some real significant gains in the account. So choice C <clears throat> is the best answer here.